saw this YouTube video where um, a survivor and his daughter and his grandchildren were dancing in front of the gates of Auschwitz uh, to Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. It was a ridiculous image, um, but also very moving um, that he could return with his grandchildren and his, and his daughter to be at the gates of Auschwitz alive and ironically dancing, making this, this kind of delicious joke, this awful joke in front of, um, in front of those gates. Uh, that really struck me. And that's part of the um, inspiration for this particular passage. Um, Mottl, my protagonist, is in a forest in uh, 1941 in Lithuania, he's escaped from the Nazis and he's with some resistance fighters, some partisans, and one of them, Seidel, makes this little uh, speech. Then Seidel stood and began to speak in the forest. One day, years from now, she said, when I have lived a lifetime in America, or maybe Africa, one day when I have lived for years far from here, and I have become a crone who could only dribble and hobble, totter and leak. On that day, I will return with my children and my children's children. I will take them into the forest and I will shout, Nazis, Lithuanians, you who were my neighbors and chose to murder us. I have lived many lifetimes and yet I have returned. I have returned with my children. I have returned with my children's children. I have returned so you can see us. An old grandmother with her children and their children. You are nothing now and I have survived. And I have returned to speak to the dead also, to tell you that I have lived. I have lived to see my children and the children born to them. And all of us mourn and remember you who are buried in the soil beneath these trees. We live in your name and in the name of your children and their children who were never born. We take you with us always, for without you, there can be no future. And then she sat down and took a bite of sausage and tore a piece off the bread. But here I am, imagining that I'll live to the end of today or tomorrow, she said, and took a vigorous chomp of the bread. Thanks for listening.